let me have the introduction in this field. Uh, what are the topics which I am going to cover in these things? Uh, we have to see about the oil and gas, about an introduction, and uh, how the projects are executed, and what are the engineering departments we have in the oil and gas field. And uh, the carriers uh, for the fresh engineers and, uh, related to mechanical engineering, uh, civil engineering, electrical, uh, electronics, instrumentation, and everything. Okay. And uh, what are the major companies in India and all over the world, the multinational companies, uh, which are delivering the engineering services to the oil and gas field. And uh, these companies uh, will have an expectation of qualities from the freshers. So that we will going to cover. And our plus, we have other question and answers. See, this oil and gas field, uh, you, you can see the oil and gas, we will see about the crude oils. So crude oil is the major product which we get from the ground, below ground. Uh, you can see this Middle East company, uh, Middle East re region in the world is holding the 56 percentage of the crude oil area. Okay. Uh, here the I have listed some companies like PDO, uh, that is Petroleum Development Oman, Saudi Aramco, Adnok. Adnok means uh, Abu Dhabi National Oil Corporation, okay, and KOC. This is Kuwait Oil Corporation. So these are the major companies uh, who produces the uh, crude oil and uh, major engineering services. That is, engineering projects we will get from these companies. That is, these companies will help offload the work or projects to the companies, to the very small companies. Okay. This oil and gas field, uh, we will have uh, three segments, probably. Okay. We have three segments. One is upstream, uh, second one is midstream, and third one is downstream. Okay. This upstream means uh, the drilling of the getting the oil wells, that is, we are drilling below the ground and get the oil from the ground. <laughs> so for that, we will have a well sites. There's potential well sites. That is where oil is more. It has to be get explored and it has to be get mapped. Uh, they will ensure how much amount of oil or something is getting from there. Uh, we need to get from that. This mapping, that is, the well sites may be at onshore as well as in the offshore. Onshore means in the ground. Offshore means in the sea. Okay. This uh, areas, after exploring these areas, we will get prepared for drilling the wells to get the crude oil. Okay. After getting the crude oil, this crude oil will be in the form of uh, oil and water. It will be a mixture. So it will get uh, separated using the separation process. There is a process called separation process. After uh, separation, we will, the crude oils will be transferred to the crude oil storage areas or terminals, we can say. How it is get transported? It is through oil pipelines or by means of any other transport facilities. Okay. From the crude oil storage terminals, we will transfer to the crude oil refineries where the crude oil get a little more fine-tuned and again it will be get stored in the uh, storage tanks that is crude oil terminals like that from there it will get another fine-tuned products and it will get transferred through pipelines or by means of uh, any other transport facilities okay after the refined product we will get the it will be <clears throat> retail, it will be sent for the customers like us. So it will be of retail and distribution areas. Okay. Uh, mostly number Ketrupo only a Kacha in a Wangro, Kacha in a Valley Korea, Kacha in a Wangro, the Kacha in a dust in it means the crude oil. That's it. Okay. So we are getting the crude oils from the Dubai or other countries, mainly from Saudi Arabia in India. We are getting. So it will get refined in the companies like Reliance, 
ஆயில் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் ஹெச்பிசிஎல் பிபி இந்த கம்பெனிஸில் இருக்க பெட்ரோலியம் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் கம்பெனிஸில் இந்தியன் ஆயில் கார்பரேஷன் அந்த மாதிரி ஸோ தே வில் பாயிண்ட் யூ இன் த திங்ஸ் அண்ட் தே வில் எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் த பெட்ரோலியம் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் பெட்ரோல் டீசல் அண்ட் அதர் திங்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த க்ரூட் ஆயில் அண்ட் இட் வில் பி ரீட்டைல்டு ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த மெயின் த்ரீ செக்மெண்ட்ஸ் இன் த ஆயில் அண்ட் கேஸ் பீல் இட் இஸ் அப்ஸ்ட்ரீம் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோரேஷன் ஆஃப் ஆயில்ஸ் மிட் ஸ்ட்ரீம் தட் இஸ் பியூரிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் தி க்ரூட் ஆயில் தட் இஸ் டிஸ்லேஷன் க்ரூட் ஆயில் எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ஷன் ஃப்ரம் த க்ரூட் ஆயில் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் த டவுன் ஸ்ட்ரீம் இஸ் ரீட்டைலிங் அண்ட் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் uh upstream areas uh, i think we don't have much projects uh, in india so it will be in the uh, companies uh, in middle east or something um, so we don't have much uh, exploration in these areas okay upstream segment is known as the exploration and production that is we have to explore the areas and we need to get the crude oil Uh, we are going to concentrate mainly on the midstream areas where the crude oil is get refined or distilled okay this oil and gas uh, projects how we are going to ex- uh, execute a project how we just get executed okay about this so there's companies like pdo oman um, koc or companies will explore the project that is the need of the project why it is needed the uh, equipment after getting the requirement they will see the technologies that is there are a lot of engineering technologies uh, which has been used for exploring the oils and purification of oils and the requirement so they will use the technologies and based on the technology we have to develop the process design uh, process design based on the process design we have to estimate the schedule how long it will take to complete a project so the milestone schedule then the cost estimation okay these things are done by the end client end client means the companies like koc uh pd or like that so they are the big companies they will offload their work to the other companies that is service contracts uh, there are other companies which we can see elaborately in the next slides okay after getting this pre project that is conceptual design we will get into the uh, feed feed is nothing but front end engineering design uh, it will be little ex- in this pre project it is explored li- a little bit in the feed that is front end engineering uh, it will be get fine tuned and further it will get developed in the feed end so these feed engineers uh, feed engineering in the feed engineering what they will do is uh, they will develop the plant design is p and id p and id is nothing but piping and instrumentation diagrams okay and the entire plot plan where it is get to be uh, where the refinery or where the project has to be get executed it has to be mapped right? we have a layouts for the okay. we have service companies to do these things so the service companies will get will bid for the projects from the end client and the end client will have the uh, technical evaluation based on the technical evaluation he will finalize the vendor and he will give the projects to the service contractors these service contractors what they will do after getting the project they will break the projects so uh, into packages so one company cannot do the all the service engineering services uh, it will take more time and uh, one company cannot afford the manpower also once the company is done the feed engineering they will uh, break the projects into packages so that's uh, that's what i told this one company cannot do the entire project it will the entire comp- the one company will does not have the manpower and uh, so uh, developments which they not so what they will do they will break the packages and they will offload it to the different engineering companies to meet the production 
project set uh, again they will what they will do based on that uh, engineering services they will again do the cost estimation and the schedule to meet the milestone okay after all those things the final project will be completed and it will get for the ready for the start okay. the companies who are doing the engineering services will be called as epc companies that is epc means engineering procurement and construction uh, basically what they will do the engineering design so from the you can see here is so, there are that. so like i said we have uh, the companies who are doing this engineering services will be called as epc that is engineering procurement and construction companies so we have three stages in these activities to have a project uh, project execution that is design the things uh, the, once the design is completed we'll have to procure the things which has been involved in the projects that is uh, we can see in the later stages once it is getting procured that is wangra wangra the problem what we have to do is and we have to construct at our commission in the sites for final thing now we can see the elaborate things so you can see the first one is design uh, from the process once the finalize the process we will get to the design what are the things has to be get designed this design will be done by mechanical civil electrical and instrumentation a uh, major company a uh, major department signed once the design is finalized and we have to procure the things which has been involved in the design okay procurement na vaangal that's it so after procuring the things we have to do some manufacturing also the procurement may be of two types the things has to be get manufactured and the things has to be get uh, bought out items that is ready made available in the market it has to be procured once both the things has been happened it has to be shipped to the site where it has to be get installed so from shipping it has to be get installation site go we have to transport the equipments after transporting the things we have to construct we have to connect all the equipments that is called construction and erection once the erection and construction done it has to be get inspected and tested and finally the project will go on and is called handover things okay so these are the things in the project stage so first we will see about the design one so this is the final product of a oil refinery it's a sample uh, photo what are the things you can visible in here means let me explain Uh, these are all called uh, mechanical static equipments this uh, in chemistry we have studied these things distillation process right distillation of petroleum so distillation columns these are all the distillation columns you can see here and uh, some there is pressure vessels we can see. Uh, these are called the pressure vessels and you can see here a lot of tanks these storage tanks a uh, lot of equipments will be there that is these are all called the static equipments and you can see these equipments are all connected through a pipe a lot of pipes are there so everything has to be get supported so civil department will have the will do the supporting structures and of course electrical power is needed and we have some instrument also so it has to be instrumentation will be get to this point okay. now what are the engineering department activities will be there uh, the engineering department will get the inputs from the required documents or drawings 
or from the specifications which is available for them and which is needed for them okay then from that inputs they have to design the requirements and finally it will be get outputted uh, the output will be in the form of drawings as well as the documents okay this engineering design is defined as uh, various departments in major of the companies will have these departments uh, process mechanical piping civil installation electrical mainly we, uh, we will concentrate on uh, process mechanical civil and piping so i told uh, the output will be in the form of drawings and documents how we are going to maintain these documents and drawings so there will be a thing called a documentation okay. so this documentation is done by the document controller he will take at the number of revisions in the drawings and etc you can see uh, this is a sample uh, documentation this a this requires the discipline code this is it is from the which department this the document is or drawing is from which department this is civil or mechanical piping process or anything later you can see the what type of document is this this is in blue color or it is magenta what type of document is a detailed drawings whether it is a bill of uh, material specification or it's a calculation or like this it will be get document we have a serial number this serial number will have a meaning that's it. you can see here the first one is process department what process department will do like i said uh, all the departments will have the uh, inputs this process department will get the inputs from the specification which is produced by the client so what are the requirements they will study the entire specific uh, package of process and what are the requirements in the package from that uh, specification they will produce the requirements which is required for this project that is drawings as well as the documents okay the drawings uh, what we call as pfd another one is pndd pfd means process flow diagram uh, pndd means pro piping instrumentation diagrams okay you can see the drawings uh, let uh, the documents will be of uh, data sheets suppose if you are buying a fan you will have a data sheet uh, then what are the specification will be there any equipment which we buy for our uh, home line home plan, home appliances this home appliances which we buy here will have a specification i think so similarly we have to produce it. for that one we have a uh, the qualification for this process is uh, he will be a chemical engineer graduation or a mechanical engineer graduation uh, we need the drafts person also he must be known in autocad and he will draw the pnd id and pfds he might be of diploma in mechanical okay. the engineering subjects basically which we need is thermodynamics heat and mass transfer so you can see this this is pfd and this is pnd id you can see the pfds the pfd means process flow diagram how the process is started and get ended you can see some equipments these are called equipments tank uh, furnace column uh, drum vacuum pump reactors boiler these are all pumps uh, cooling tower and a storage tank and right so we do we have a process flow diagram how it is started and how it is get in there the next one is pnd id after the pfd they will further develop the pnd id from the pfd uh, this is an uh, equipment suppose i will take it as a fit tank 
every tank will have an inlet and an outlet a drain and a vent so you can see some things so each thing will have a valve and a pressure gauge or pressure temperature a temperature gauge like that so these things will be indicated in this diagram that is called p and d this piping piping is the connection of the uh, inlet outlet drain and vent where it is getting at so this piping and instrumentation diagram so this is about the process department next is a mechanical department mechanical department we have a four division of engineers there is four specialists we need for the mechanical uh, one is static equipment engineer another one is rotating equipment engineer another one is package engineer and last is hvac which is is heat ventilation and air conditioning of course we have a air conditioning in uh, i think in our colleges or in our malls we can see the hvacs that's heat ventilation where the heat has to be get ventilated and where the areas has to be get air conditioned that is we need to get design okay then uh, you can see some samples uh, this is our pressure vessels uh, distillation columns storage tanks these are all called uh, static equipments and we need to design based on the process data sheet these things has to be get uh, fabricated okay. so first we need to uh, order those uh, order these things so because it has to be it will take some time to fabricate that is to get manufactured then uh, pumps and compressors turbines are called uh, rotating equipments these are all readily available items so based on the requirement that is specification and data sheet we can uh, select the pumps and compressors for our requirement so these are called bottle items so this is done by the rotating equipment you can see the mixture of uh, equipments and the pumps that is a filtration skid is a samples package skid in our homes we have a this uh, filter rvo filter will be you can find the filtration unit will be the a pump and the electric motor this i told about this packages so this is uh, packages with uh, we wait la pathina or rvo unit vechirukom ya filtration unit vechirukom thani so adha pathina we have some uh, filtration things apra uh, motor pump ellame irukum so the combined the things so we have to design based on the requirement okay that is called the packages so this is done by the package engineer and at last this hvac heat ventilation air condition has to be done by the hvac uh, what are the things uh, produced by the what are the documents and drawings produced by the mechanical department uh, for mechanical department the base input will be come from coming from uh, process that is in the form of piping and instrumentation diagrams data sheets and specification they will tell about the basic requirement and uh, the meaning and the mechanical will produce you can see the process data sheet and here we will see the mechanical data sheet mechanical data sheet the difference between the process and mechanical data sheets are process will contains the basic things that is what material has to be used and what the base temperature and pressure based on the we have to design the equipment the size of the equipment how it is get to be constructed those things will be in the mechanical data sheets again the specification will be get elaborated in the mechanical so these are all the base documents mechanical data sheet and specification so uh, like i told these things are will done by the fabricator vendor so the fabrication unit <coughs> will require this mechanical and data sheet and specifications so how to select the vendor 
who will do this design of equipment and the fabrication so we need to give this mechanical data sheet and specifications to all the vendors who is having the capability to do the fabrication so for that we need to prepare the rfq this request for quotation for the bought out items as well as for the equipments to be get fabricated once we receive the quotation from the vendor we have to do the technical bid analysis so we have to select which vendor is meeting our requirement so we have to select that one after selecting that vendor we will produce the order to the fabricator unit or the bought out item unit so after getting after finalizing the vendor he will produce the design and he will do the drawings so that one has to be get review that is called vdr vendor document review so these are all things uh, done by the mechanical department okay so for that uh, sorry he is a mechanical engineer he should be a graduation in mechanical uh, draft person we call it as designer also he should be a diploma in mechanical the strength of materials and thermodynamics are the base subjects and the softwares which we are using in the mechanical uh, that is called pv alloy it is compress these things are used for designing the pressure vessels at last autocad and sp3d sp3d is a 3d modeler where you can model the equipments piping everything in the 3d with the informations basic information. next one is piping like i said the equipments are connected by the piping so you can see the equipment and you can see a lot of pipings are coming out there okay first of all this piping department will have a two division of engineers that is pipeline and piping you can see pipeline pipeline means uh, i told uh, the rig the crew from the rig that is from the upstream area the oil crude oil will be get transported to the crude oil storage tanks areas so it might be of kilometers the storage tank will be at uh, around 50 or 100 kilometers away from the rig area so it has to, the crude oils has to be get transported so it is called pipeline that is cross country pipelines and everything is there so the area the diameter of the pipe will be more than uh, around uh, 24 inch okay so these are all called pipelines for design these pipelines we have pipeline engineer for the plant piping that is the piping which in within the plant will be done by the piping engineer both will have to produce the layouts where from where it has to get started and where it has to be get ended that's it after doing the piping layouts we need to qualify the pipes whether it will withstand the pressure temperature where we have to support that uh, pipes for that we need to do the analysis for that we have a pipe stress engineer so he will qualify the pipes based on the design conditions that is pressure temperature and the support distances everything has to be done by everything has to be done by the and finalized by the piping stress engineer okay for piping department where he will get the inputs the inputs will be from the process data sheet or from the mechanical data sheets okay and the mechanical equipments where it is get located from the mechanical equipment height and uh, sizing uh, from that only where the inlet nozzle is located outlet so from that we have to uh, design the pipe so for preparing the piping layout will be done by the sorry these are all the things output from the 
fighting. Just we have naval layouts and the walls will be there always. So that walls, they will prepare the mechanical data sheets specification. For that one, they will do the technical. These data sheets and specifications will be offloaded to the vendor. From the vendor, they have to select the final vendor who is meeting our requirements. So for that, they will do the technical bid analysis. And at last, the vendor document will be from the final vendor. Okay. Apart from that, they will do the pipe stress analysis. Uh, pipe support drawings by the pipe stress engineers. The sir, yeah, sir. yeah, tell me. Uh, so the piping department, I explained about the piping department. The qualification for the piping engineer is graduation in mechanical. Of course, diploma mechanical engineers will do the drafting things. The engineering subjects mainly fluid mechanics. Uh, strength of materials, thermodynamics are required. Okay. The software is used in the piping or for uh, analyzing the pipe, pipe stress analysis, they will use the CISA software. For uh, layout, piping layout, we are using AutoCAD, HP3D, and PDMS. PDMS we are plan design management system. That's it. Email. Now we see about the civil department. Of course, the equipments and piping has to be get supported. So we need the foundation. So for that foundation, we need the civil department. Okay. The civil department will have a two division of engineers. One is for RCC and one is for structure. You can see a sample uh, process equipment. Uh, Plant. See, these are all equipments, and it, these are all get. For, we we have the foundation for these things, and we have uh, pipelines, and it will be get supported using the pipe supports done by the civil engineers. Okay. Foundations, I mean. and we have some structures that is layers, platforms, and the steel structures are there. So these things are done by the structural engineer. The civil department will get the inputs from the mechanical and the piping. So where the support location, what is the weight of that equipment? So based on that, they will do the foundation design calculation and the drawings. So for that, we have a civil layout also. Okay. The graduation, of course, it's civil graduation engineer is needed for civil department. And civil diploma in civil draft is required. Engineering subjects, but I am a mechanical engineer. I don't know about this civil department. So, engineering subjects, better to read all the subjects. And um, software is used for the dis design. Uh, STAD. STAD is for designing the foundations. And TECLA. TECLA is for uh, steel structures. So, they will do the design in the TECLA. Okay. Uh, for modeling the and modeling the foundations, they we use AutoCAD and Revit. Uh, I will combine this electrical and uh, instrumentation. Okay. Both of them the same things which we saw in the process piping mechanical. So they will provide the technical engineering guidance for the package to be designed. So electrical design engineer will do the design and he will produce the data sheet specification for the electrical items and he will do the single line diagrams. Likewise, instrumentation diagram, uh, instrumentation engineer will do the design and he will also produce the data sheets and specifications. The graduation is same, electrical engineer and instrumentation engineer or electronics engineer. Okay. See, uh, I explained about the design field only. So engineers are required in all the stages, that is in the procurement. So once the design is done, they will do the procurement. For procuring the things, the engineer, procurement engineer has to read the data sheets 
and the specifications and uh, he has to select the right person or right vendor for procuring the items okay for manufacturing so based on the data sheets and specifications given by the design department the equipment has to be get manufactured so we need a site engineer here how it is get manufactured okay after all those things we need to ship to the uh, construction site that's it after shipping it has to be get installed how it is getting installed we need an installation engineer installation engineer will be of all the departments that is mechanical civil electrical and instrumentation also so and the construction and direction for inspection also we need the engineers for inspecting the equipments and get to be tested the testing engineers will be there okay finally we have a handover for that also we need the handover engineers for this things for all the things um, we need a quality so qms will be there quality management system will be there okay there are other departments other than engineering in the major epc company that is engineering procurement and construction this is a big companies will have these type of uh, departments that is accountant administrator auditor chemist commercial manager uh, communication coordinator for completions completion engineers are required construction if the old things that is uh, if you are going to renew the old project uh, this old construction areas we need to demolish the things right for demolishing we need a decommissioning and health safety engineer advisor decommissioning manager decommissioning planning engineer for maintaining the activities we need a maintenance supervisor marine engineer the suppose if the project is on offshore that is in the sea we need marine engineers material scientists uh, material analysts analyst for materials mainly of carbon steel so on the crude oil uh, how it is getting corroded what type of material is to be used for the piping uh, equipments that is storage vessels how it is which material has to be get used we need the material analyst okay of course hr will be there it technician and hsc will be there human safety and managers for all the departments some departments will require engineers also now we can see uh, what are the foundation skills and qualities uh, which the company is expecting from a fresh engineer okay. technically he has to be get sound here yeah, so you should have a technical knowledge sound technical knowledge in his subjects and communication mainly communication communication ngirathu how we can explain is he has to deliver his ideas clearly in any form that is in english or in his own language to the subordinates and he has to be get clearly understood that is communication okay and of course email writing writing the emails to the client to the higher authorities that is very important for the person and uh, ms office word excel that is computer skills are very essential for a uh, fresh engineer apart from that additionally we if we have planning uh, leadership quality uh, management quality the project management quality uh, cost estimation of course autocad if you know engineers most of the engineers will neglect autocad but autocad is the best thing if you know that one it will be very essential for an engineer it is very essential then uh, qualities uh, if, if you come for an interview these qualities will be reviewed by the company whether you are a fast learner smart worker willing to work for long hours this willing to work for long hours means because if you are a, you are a fresher right the freshers has to learn the things a lot so he has to stay in the company more than 8 hours or something so it is an expectation from the company a reliable team player 
and on time finisher self starter once self starter is very important and uh, you should have a supportive family that is uh, to understand whether he has to stay in the long hours in the company like that and physically mentally fit okay okay uh, how a fresh engineer can get into this uh, oil and gas field or engineering services uh, we have kadirvel i think uh, in trichirapalli we have kadirvel engineer uh, he is working at uh, bhl and he is doing the foundation courses for piping so most of the piping engineers you can see has learned from so i can I can say proudly i can say this most of the piping engineers are from trichirapalli wherever you go in these engineering sectors we can see a piping engineer from trichy apart from that there are, we have uh, kajeria and mexico if you search in the websites uh, they are doing the foundation courses for uh, oil and gas field okay foundation courses are the available readily available only thing we have to you know go there study a lot okay and uh, companies in india these companies which i have listed here are multinational companies it is located all over the world and some branches are in india as in chennai as well as in all over the india also as there okay so you know your there is my company you know your engineering in the future and samsung engineering india private limited linde petrofac technip mcdermott saipam kbr if you go on and search in this industries websites you can see some careers uh, when they are going to take the fresh engineers or that so you can be get prepared for the interviews okay i think you can share the, the link yes sir i will share the link yeah and finally we have come to the final section of this question and answer thank you for listening all those things i hope um, some of the things <laughs> uh sir someone is asking uh, are yeah. production engineering eligible for the mechanical engineering post production engineering yeah yes, production engineers also will get into the um this can get into this field yeah i think uh how will you do engineering subjects will be the strength of materials obviously up to the third year we'll have strength of materials and thermodynamics uh they can get into that uh, be strong in uh, fluid mechanics thermodynamics and uh, strength of materials production engineer also is eligible for this next uh, what is the person is having, having any other questions hello uh, yeah uh, sir uh, mm. in mechanical engineering electrical engineering civil engineering yeah. how many percentage of uh, people uh, they can uh, recruit in your oil and uh, gas industry see uh, in a engineering uh, company like uh, in the oil and gas field okay you can see um, piping and civil will have the major work okay. has to do the major work right okay so the suppose if a 100 people is in the company around 50 people will be um, 40 people will be in the piping and uh, 40 people in the civil remaining will be in the static equipments uh, that is mechanical department in the companies okay so if a mechanical engineer is there around 50% of the people will be of mechanical and 50% of the people will 40% of the people at the civil okay. remaining 10% will be of electrical and instrumentation okay yeah. thank you sir thank you one last question sir yeah sir, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah. additional course required for working in oil and piping industry uh, whether the participant have to do any additional course to join the oil and oil and gas industry sir the additional course ngiradhu ipo 
ஜென்ரலாவே பண்ணுவாங்க த பீப்புள் வில் டு ப்ரோ யூ ஆர் கேட்டியா சோ அது வந்து நீங்க ரிக்வயர்மென்ட் தகுந்த மாதிரி பண்ணுங்க சப்போஸ் நான் வந்து இந்த ஃபீல்ட்ல தான் போணும்ங்கற ஒரு இன்டென்ஷன் இருக்குறவங்களுக்கு யூ கேன் டு தி கோர்சஸ் ஐ கேன் ரெக்வெஸ்ட் சோ யா நவ் தி செஷன் இஸ் ஃபார் வாட் ஆர் தேங்க்ஸ் யா Uh, on behalf of our uh, management principal faculty members and students yeah. i extend uh, really hearty word of thanks to our uh, resource person mr d jayraj who spared uh, time in the schedule to grace the occasion today we had an opportunity to see your uh, wonderful presentation on uh, career in oil and the gas industry and overview and this webinar is uh, surely being the eye opening session for all young engineers and students once again i thank our uh, management and principal for encouraging us to uh, conduct this type of webinar in our college once again i thank uh, to our resource person uh, jayra sir thank you sir Thank you. Thank you. Ten years of excellence. S.